Craig Marici by Play Rhythm Guitar. I'm Ed McGuire. I do vocals and sing in the band. Gordon Bear Chief, I play lead guitar and yeah, sing. We didn't think we were going to really get deep into it. We just really wanted to play live shows. Like, we just really wanted to be in a band. We didn't care about quality of music. We didn't care, you know, that we didn't have bassists. We didn't care, you know, about anything. We just really wanted to get on stage. When people started seeing us actually going to play shows off of Sixaga and we were getting these invites, I think that's when people started taking us more seriously and like, hey, you know, they're actually doing something, you know, because not a lot of bands from the res do. Well, there's a lot now that are doing now, yeah. stuff. Now, yeah. That's pretty cool. We there see were, a lot more projects coming out of Six Ago now. Like my dad, when he was doing metal back in like what two thousand six five about there. Yeah. When uh, when he was doing metal back then, there was like only like two other bands, hey, three, yeah. two other bands, who really did it, and we knew it was possible. And as soon as we started getting more shows, people started taking us more seriously, and that's when people started coming to us and being like, "Can we try out for your band?" <laughs> some people come in we had some people leave it was uh unfortunate that cash had passed away back in 2015 cash was uh really special to us you know because he he was there from the beginning and like <laughs> quite he was just the amazing character because we were like a family you know we were like really like brothers we did everything together our whole lives revolved around each other because of this band and so when we lost him, it was a huge hit for us and I guess, you know, there's just fell into a little depression there. And it was like, we don't want to do this anymore. You know, we're never going to find someone as good as Cash. We're never going to, you know, capture that feeling again. Before Cash passed away, our new material was really like, we were really proud of it. But then after he was gone, we were just kind of just like, what do we do now? So we took a break there for the longest time. I started writing more. Um, my dad's always telling me to, you know, just transfer everything into music. And he's always just telling me to write and push myself and everything. <laughs> he's like, I got all of this stuff right here that you could use, you know, and keep going because you're, you're talented. So that made me, that gave, that gave me a spark. And I was like, you know what? I, I really do miss playing the kind of music we play, being comfortable with the music I played. So I started writing and I wrote the EP that we have out now, Values. I wrote all the instruments for that and I got it together and I was really proud of it. I was really happy the way it came out and I was like, you know what, we can definitely do something with this. At first I was thinking about going under a new band name, but then I was like, you know what, I should just bring After the Prophet back, you know, because one of the things, <laughs> and this always hits home, one of the things that Cash said you know when me all of us were jamming it was funny because we just finished writing like this amazing song and we were like all so happy and we we're like stoked we we're like holy crap this is next level stuff so we were all happy and then cash just said no one ever leave this band you know don't ever i don't want you guys to ever leave this band you know because he really believed that we we were going to go somewhere so that that was always in the back of my head so i was like you know what with these songs you know i really want to push after the profit because that was my family you know that was where i found home so i was like i want to give these songs to after the profit and i want to do something with this band in memory of our bro that's how it came out the lyrics we i just let all the emotions out of it and so it was pretty it, it was pretty uh it was a hard time but at the beginning it was uh it was therapeutic in a way too being able to transition all of that emotion into what we have now.
To me, it was like, I can take my pain, turn it into something beautiful to help take someone else's pain away. It's weird how that works, and it's a really beautiful thing. Being in this band, it feels like we're actually doing something good, not only for ourselves, but our, you know, our people too, you know, as native, as indigenous. A lot of our songs are revolved around that too. It's so unique what we go through, you know. We're starting to heal and, you know, we've always been artistic people as indigenous people, you know, whether that be through dancing, you know, through powwow music, through uh, paintings and all these kind of stuff, you know, so. Ceremonies. Yeah, ceremonies. And it's, it's no surprise that as native people using music to spread a message. It's really kind of a building a bridge in a sense where people are actually starting to some people care i see that uh, a lot especially at the moments fest because you see a lot of uh, caucasian people there and i think that's really awesome it makes a big statement that healing's starting to happen but it's kind of strange because it's happening through music <laughs> Rock back, 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 rock back